but it went from like getting hard flamed and like inted and like people dodging games constantly to oh yeah i want a heimerdinger on my team yeah. oh yeah this is great hey you want to like talk to me about strats with heimer like do you want to do this i'm like wow wait people are like not they don't hate that i'm playing heimer now Well, we are here at the Gift the Rift event for Swarmio at the uh, BTS house. I'm joined right now by Heisendong, who I'm just meeting for the first time. First time being in Cali yeah. forever. Yes. What do you think of it so far? Honestly, um, the food is fantastic. Yeah. I thought, well, I heard that there was, you know, not much green, but like, I didn't think it was like that. Because yeah. I came from Canada, right? And like yeah. Toronto, there's, everything, there's green everywhere, right? Yeah. But the food here is, uh, I feel like I'm gonna, when I go back, I'm just going to starve. Like I won't be able to eat re you know, regular Torontonian food. Yeah. So well, we, we are on the east side of L.A. If you go to the west side near the coast, it's a lot more green. You'll see a lot of green over there. Fair enough. Yeah, fair you enough. just need to be near the ocean. But, you are, yeah, you're from Toronto. Yeah. Uh, so I, is, it okay, what's the, is it nice coming over here right now, or is it, like, basically equivalent in terms of weather? Same weather. Same weather. Uh, it's pretty much the same temperature, I think. There was, like, a bunch of rain coming uh, very soon, so I'm glad that I'm avoiding that, I yeah. guess. Thunderstorms and shit, so... Yeah, and there was like a massive flooding too yeah. recently, which is like the opposite of what's happening here. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'd rather be here for uh, for a bit. But honestly, I want to visit beaches. I heard beaches here are like really nice, and yeah. over there they're not really as yeah. as nice. So, if you can give me some recommendations, that yeah. would be good after. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, Malibu is really nice. Oh, so this is your first time uh, coming out to California. Is this one of like the obviously there's not like an audience here, but is it one of the bigger events you've attended uh, and sort of being on screen with a lot of these uh, big names? Yeah, no, for sure. Like I've pretty much never met any of these people in real life in, in real life before because they all like yeah. live here, right? I've, I only know like Santorin, uh, Kelsey, um, Voiboy, Mo. We, they all came to Toronto. And we met up there for events. But now I'm, like, I'm coming here, the world of like esports is like pretty much like the hub, right? right. It's, it's California. Uh, so I get to like finally meet all these people that I flame and flame me and we have fun. And so like, obviously like we're, we joke around, but now I get to like do it yeah. in person. And it's just, it's just super, super exciting. You should, are you around for the next couple of days? You should try to go to LCS tomorrow. Oh, uh, I do have to fly back in like a, a day and a half, okay. two days. Yeah. You, tomorrow, you can make it to the studios. You should go. Team Liquid, uh, 100 Thieves. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try. I'll see if the flight can, if I can make it. Yeah, yeah. What? How, do you have to buy tickets or like? I think you could find somebody that could get you in. You should, yeah, you should, uh, I mean, last minute, you should try to f figure out if maybe they can bring you on the analyst desk or something like that. Oh, my God. Yeah. I would just, uh, <laughs> I would know only things about Heimerdinger. Yeah. Nobody even plays Heimer now. Yeah. But still, I mean, there's a conversation to be had. I don't know. Um, uh, either way, so you're out here. One of the talking about Heimerdinger. We were kind of talking about this on the the cast, and I I hope this isn't offensive, but like you blew up with the Heimerdinger thing, right? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. people obviously knew who you were. But Why is that offensive? Well, that's amazing. I don't know because I, I mean it's it's cool. I just don't yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want you feeling like well. People talk, it's always bringing up Heimerdinger. Right, no, honestly, I feel like I annoy the fuck out of people because it's just like, Heimer this, Heimer that. Heimer's already an annoying fucking champion to play against. Yeah. He's obnoxious, and I, I know that because when I play against him, I fucking hate it, yeah. right? But like, so I, I don't want to like annoy people, but like when they mention my name or like say like, hey, this guy coached this and he brought this strat, uh, it's like, obviously it's, it's good publicity, yeah. but it gets to a point where I'm like, uh, I feel yeah. like people are gonna annoy me. I get like messages all the time, like you ruined solo queue, you're a piece of shit. I'm just like, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm yeah. sorry. It's well, not my intention. Well, what we were we were talking again, and you you mentioned, you know, like one tricks are usually kind of hated, but this is like a great moment for you. Yeah. And uh, it, it must be kind of uh, fun to sort of, uh, and random also that like Heimerdinger of all champions, like you're sitting there, you're playing, you're doing your Heimerdinger thing, and all of a sudden you become like the the most wanted man in, in North America as I almost pulled the tripod over with this cable. <laughs> I was gonna say like for like two or three years, probably like two and a half, close to three years, all that would happen when I play so is just getting flamed. Like just flame for pick and high, flame for just anything off meta, because I just play off meta stuff. I'll just play like the random Mordekaiser solo lane, like I'll just, because I just, I've been playing the game since beta, yeah. and to, to have fun it's like, I kind of want to play the things that people are not spamming 24/7, and I watch streams. So I, like, I don't want to play Camille. I don't want to play, you know, the same things that I see all the time. And so it's like I'm used to getting flamed, but it went from like getting hard flamed and like inted and like people dodging games constantly, to oh yeah, I want a Heimerdinger on my team. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is great. Hey, you want to like talk to me about strats with Heimer? Like, do you want to do this? I'm like, wow, wait, people are like not, they don't hate that I'm playing Heimer now. So it just went from like here to here yeah. instantly. That's pretty much. Uh, that's pretty much how I felt. 
Well, you can lean into that now. I think you should just become the guy who plays all the crazy stuff, and then hopefully, like the next next year, there's like another one, and it's just you, be, you become the expert, the go to for all these weird champions. I'm, I'm, I want to ask you, what do you think the next pick is? What do you think the next crazy thing is? I have no idea. We were talking about this on on stream. It, it feels like mo normally what ends up happening is a champion gets reworked, and then it's wildly different, and then that's when it comes back into the sunlight. Heimerdinger is kind of odd in that, like obviously there's been stuff that's been done to him somewhat recently, but. Uh, it was really like a confluence of other events that allowed him to come into the mm -hmm. meta. Yeah, um, I think Baron changing was like huge yeah. because um, you you used to be able to like you would do Baron fast, but it would it would mess you up like it would wreck you one v one. But then they made it like do more AOE damage and like less single target damage. So Heimer could just do it like whenever, right? Yeah. And it's Baron right now is just like you get it, you pretty much turn the game sure. for for most uh, situations when you get Baron, and the games are ending really fast, at least when Heimer was meta. So it would just be like objective control, push the lane. They can't jump into me. You can't really die. So you just keep like pushing the lane, doing like dragon, pushing. And it was just like really obnoxious uh, play style. But Heimer just excelled at it, right? Yeah, yeah, well, that's true. Uh, other than that, uh, any good moments with any of the guys here in, in person? I mean, it was fun having you and Yasuo on the on the couch earlier. Yeah, we have uh, Chevy was on our team. He's like a bodybuilder. He's going for like Mr. Olympia and yeah. shit. And uh, he was like, he's like the most hyped player I've ever seen. He hyped everybody. Up. Yes. He me, Cutie, Scar. We were all screaming right now because he was screaming. Despite the language barrier. Oh, dude. It, yeah. it, the, it made it even better, honestly. Okay. I'm not, <laughs> not even kidding. Because you kind of knew what he was saying from just his emotion. And uh, that honestly was, I've never seen Cutie Pie just like yell and scream as much as he did during those games. I think I'm, I'm probably going to go back in, those, in the stream and like yeah. get the clips of that stuff because it was hilarious. Yeah. That's really cool. And, and now, uh, I mean, what overall thoughts on your performance at this event and the team? Oh, oh, okay, that's her. I, I messed, I messed up real good. I made a bet with Mo that, because uh, I was just trying to talk shit. I was just trying to talk my shit, right? I know Yasuo shits on Heimer. There's like no way I went, but I just want to be like, if I shit on you in this counter matchup, where you, it's gonna be like hilarious, and then I just got wrecked. I just got rolled. So, <laughs> so that was kind of disappointing. And then uh, we put Chevy in the top lane. I went to support because he wanted to play solo lane. Sure. And uh, I was with Cutie Pie, unfortunately. <laughs> you know how that goes. Yeah. You know how that goes. He played Scion ADC. Sure. Yeah. That explains. <laughs> it's, explain it's a little. I mean, you you pick unconventional <laughs> picks. Yeah. You pick unconventional picks, and now you're yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't you can't get mad at him for doing Scion ADC. No, no, I let him down. I, I think because I'm not used to it. I, I have no idea when to. But like he had his moments where he 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 built like Storm Razor on yeah. Scion. And the animation for that's like a, it's like a punt, yeah. right? And so I'm like, oh, he's dead here. And then he just like punts the AD and just cues. And it's like one shot. I'm like, oh my, wait a sec, this is OP. Yeah. I'm the one failing. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it was fun, man. Honestly, everyone was just having fun, and that's uh, there's like no pressure, you know what I mean? Because it's just a charity event. Even if you win or lose, you're you're just gonna like, yeah, th yeah you're, you're gonna have a good time. Hey, anything you would say to anybody out there who maybe they've heard a lot about you and this is the first time they've had a chance at yeah. this event or anything, or uh, maybe they're a fan of yours for a while, anything you would say to anybody out there? Uh, th thanks for just being a fan if you are and if you if you aren't. Dude, I, I'm i telling you guys, the way to fun is to just play whatever the fuck you want. Um, don't really care about your teammates if they flame you. You're going to get flamed regardless. Listen. If you're a jungler, you're gonna get flamed regardless. If you're a bot laner, whether support, you're gonna get flamed by the other person anyway. If you're a top laner, nobody's even talking to you. You're in an island, so just have fun, play your shit, and uh, yeah, don't worry about what people think. Very good, very good advice, and certainly uh, advice that has served you well, I think. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much uh, for the interview and for everyone else. You can check out the rest of my coverage of all things esports right here on my YouTube channel. Behind me is a giant valley, a giant valley that I have behind me because I'm at Gift the Rift which is being pit on by Swarmio. Shout out to them. But back to the valley. This is a valley that one day Travis Gafford Industries could just own, could have all this. But it requires your help. You got to sub to the YouTube channel. You got to follow me on Twitch. You got to throw a Twitch Prime sub in there if you want. Uh, you got to click the links in the description. You got to show your support so that we can grow Travis Gafford Industries so they can own this entire valley and then start to exact the plans that I've been making for quite some time. I can't, I can't go into those. But all this could be uh, Travis Gafford Industries with your support. So just go ahead and click the links below. And thanks so much.